All right, and welcome back. Been a few weeks since I've been able to put one of these videos together. So to recap, uh, my last video was basically attaching the fuel tank uh, to the wing, and I came across one screw that just would not go in, and came to realize that the nut plate that I had installed uh, had a problem. So I figured I would remove it and see what I could find out. And so that's what the wife and I are doing here removing the fuel tank so I can get access to the nut plates that are driven into the spar and take a look and see what's causing the problem. And so uh, carefully drilling it out here and then come to find out, well, here's the problem. I'm trying to get the camera to show into the innards of that uh, uh, nut plate there, but there are no threads whatsoever on the inside of that nut plate and that's why the screw just would not go into that hole um, so again I was trying to get the camera to show it it just it wouldn't show up very well so you may or may not have been able to tell so went through and found a replacement and this is what it's supposed to look like and again the camera doesn't pick it up very well but there are threads inside there that you can barely make out so just a matter of installing the new nut plate and then reattaching the fuel tank in its place where it's supposed to go. So this is, uh, as I'm making this video, this is uh, December 28th. So uh, Merry Late Christmas to everybody. Happy Holidays. Hope you guys had a good uh, holiday and uh, good plans for the New Year's coming up. This is uh, just over a year since I've started this project. I meant to put out a anniversary video, but holidays got in the way and wasn't able to put that out in time. So to this date, I've assembled the empennage kit. Uh, it's about 90% complete. I still have the fairings and some small things to do, uh, things that I'll wait until it's ready for final assembly, um, such as attaching all of the um, horizontal stabilizers and things like that. But for the most part, it's complete. I, now I am mostly complete with the right wing. I have gotten just about everything done. It's just a matter of putting it all together. Uh, currently, I'm working on putting all the bell crank uh, things together for the aileron. The left wing is prepped for the most part. The fuel tank is complete. Um, the leading edge for the left wing is mostly complete. It's just a matter of riveting everything together. And then it's just a matter of putting the ribs and the skins onto the right wing and catching it up, basically. So I think within the next two or three months, I should be able to get the left wing complete and be ready. So that's kind of where I've gotten to this point in the past year in a month or so since I started this project. What I'm doing here is those, those uh, trays in the background there that you see me going to every once in a while. Those are a gift that I got from my wife last year. Um, and I've not really used them until now. So I decided it's about time to organize all of my uh, tool or my, my parts, my hardware and things like that so that I don't lose them anymore. There's been a couple instances where I just can't find things. So I finally was able to put those in. And here you see me finally start to work on the bell crank assembly. Um, assemble the uh, aileron and put it in place onto the wing. And it went on fairly well. It's just a matter of trying to find, they have a, a washer wrench, for lack of a better term, that I've purchased. And I wasn't able to find it. So it made it for a little bit of a difficult effort trying to put these washers in place. But put the aileron in place and then start working on all of the aileron bell crank assembly and the, and the torque tubes and all of the mechanisms that go into operating the ailerons from the control stick. So the plans have you put this in place and then start constructing the torque tube and the uh, bell crank and, and uh, torque rods and everything that goes into this assembly. It's not a difficult part of the build. I, w was, I was a little worried going into it because it's uh, a lot of, uh, you're making new holes. They're not pre-drilled for you. Um, and that's what you see me doing here is, is cutting the torque tube to length. And then once you get that cut, you'll start lining up all of the end pieces and then drilling holes. And again, 
none of this is pre-drilled. You have to create all of these holes yourself. And what you see me cutting out here is the tool to do that. Um, I was trying to get a picture so I could insert it into this video to show what I'm talking to, but uh, basically it's, it's a strip of paper with targets. There's six different targets along the paper. And you line it up so that one edge is flush with the end of the torque tube, and then you tape it in place. And then you get a center punch and make a, a mark at the center of each of those six targets, and that's where you're gonna drill your holes. Now the easiest thing that I found was they have a there's a center punch where basically it's spring loaded and you put it in place and then press down until it snaps and it punches a little mark for you. It's the easiest way to do it. You're not gonna accidentally, you know, put too much force onto the punch and dent the material. And it makes a good mark uh, so that your drill bit won't wander. So you use that on both ends. And then um, once you've got that all cut to length and marked, then it's just a matter of using a number 40 drill bit to drill a, a pilot hole. And then you insert the rod ends into each side of the torque tube and create the torque tube assembly. Now here's my son, six year old, trying to get him involved as much as I can. I wanna to try to uh, raise him with, a, with an aviation interest. Uh, so every once in a while he comes out and I show him what I'm up to and where I'm at in the build and he gets a kick out of it. So as I was saying earlier, uh, coming up just past a year and I'm actually at the point where I'm about to order the fuselage. Uh, when I spoke to Vans, they said it was about a 10 week lead time at the moment for fuselage kits. So I figure if I put the order in now, um, about the second week of January, I should get the fuselage kit by the end of March. And if that's the case, then I should be complete with the wings at that point and essentially be ready to work on the fuselage. So looking forward to doing that, getting it all set up. And then, uh, like I said, it, it'll be basically right in line with my timeline and uh, won't be any major delay. So initially I thought it was gonna take five years to put this all together, but in reality, it might only take me three years. Um, the biggest challenge is going to be cash flowing an engine, which right now is right around $30,000. So we'll see if we get that worked out. Anyway, I'm going to let this video run out here. Uh, again, I'm going to try to get a few more of these out a little more frequently. Uh, for those that continue to watch these videos, I appreciate it. If you have any comments or questions, by all means, leave them below. And if you haven't already hit that subscribe button and the alarm bell, and you'll get notifications every time I put one of these videos together. Uh, like I said, I will try to put them out a little more frequently. So anyway, that's where I'm going to leave it. And thanks for watching.